Greetings, everyone. Star caps. And, uh, yeah, welcome back to my Lunar Silver Complete Let's Play. We're making our way through, uh, Mike's Tower. That's where we got to last night. We've explored the visit of Tamor. I forgot to switch back to this so I could actually control it. Now I hit the wrong button there. Okay. And we found our way through Mites Tower, but I'm looking for loot. So we're exploring a little bit. Just a little bit. And basically because there's no point to not, we're just letting Alex get knocked out in every fight. Like they could, things here couldn't kill him if they tried. It is scientifically impossible to lose. The worst battle would be Alex faints and there's a couple of hat guys around, and you gotta wait until Null's AI decides, let's revive him. Or you accidentally get soft locked, but the hats are the only thing that are a threat. Wow, that mirror is just all up bombs. Alright, fine. Definitely not the most interesting combat. But I like this background. Industrial. Poor Helix, that was exactly how many hit points he had. Okay, hold on. Alex has 150 hit points. He restores 15 hit points, so he restores a tenth. Which means Lake restores 50 every time. I don't think anything can do over 50. He could take over 50 damage in one turn. He could be very, very unlikely. Really? This is new territory. Maybe the same three crystals. Oh, no, slightly less number of crystals. Just for funsies, let's try that. Something a little different. Yeah. Oh, you tried. Sometimes that's all you can do, Alex. Let's try and a little dragon spoosh in your face. I'm gonna just shoot you with some sparkles. There. Even if I gotta go through a hat to get it. Oh, 18, so it's not a set amount? Anyway, we got Beard Boy just smashing through. And then this. Alex did his part. Uh oh. Oh, well, now we're just in an interesting spot. I 
Come on, no. Come on, get back on your feet. Oh, I'm a little disappointed in you. I only do 52 that time. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nah, I'm gonna leave that one. Makes me feel ashamed for having bought Kyle that one had I known a new fresh one was just coming up. But I told you there was something here. Alex is back in the orange health. He can like survive a single hit. That's why healing rings are cool. Totally worth it. No, I did that one. Now the fun part is remembering how to get out of here. Oh, was this really a loop? And I just now noticed? Wasn't it just like this tube right here? really quick to get to. And I'll remember it when I seize it. Down 
this way. Nope, definitely not this block. At all, just wasting time. And I'm going the long way, because... Because I can't. Confused and lost. Right, this looks right. Now we're gonna meet Mike. A lot of people say Bill and May is in town to keep the traders out. Shoot will take you back, ground to, directly to the ground floor. There you go. With your eyes? Didn't you see the sign? The signs warning against warning about the cranky, stinky, rude genius? Well, that's me, Mike. I hate noise, interruptions, and people. You're trespassing. Go away, way. Sorry about the audio. It's good to see you. Oh, <laughs> it's good to see you. Might haven't changed, Mike. At least it smells like you're eating better these days. Bah! What do you care? You only come here when you want something, so out with it. Who's the little brat? Friend Alex, he's looking for the black dragon. When he finds him, he'll be the next dragon master. His real quest is to travel to the frontier and rescue a girl from the magic emperor. Frontier? Bah! Now I get it. You want me to build this kid an airship, right? Right. You know Alex can't get to the frontier without it. Need your help, mate. And if I have to do so, you know I'll beg you if I have to. Bah! Preserve what little dignity you have. I'll build your damned airship. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, my friend. Thank you, might. Now you have a way to reach the frontier, Alex, which brings you to the Black Dragon. I've heard rumors that it can be found in the prairie to the south of Timur. Let's go back there and we can give you some facts. How do you always know so much about everything? <laughs> ah, you're quite the inquisitive one, aren't you? What about me, brat? I'll be finished with the airship long before you get to find the black dragon. Come back when you're ready to fly. Yeah. Stay here and chat with Mike. You should find your way back out. What to talk about? I still stink and you still have that ridiculous beard. Oh, you wanted to talk, my old friend. The only difference between me and you, sir, is that I make this facial hair look good. I can't remember if this is also the slide. I think it is. Nope, that's the way to the roof. Goddamn roof. And now, we go back. Hey, we got a crystal sword out of it. That's cool. Might as well walk, it's just a short distance. Okay, so this other cool sword that I just wasted money on. Well, I didn't. I only wasted money on it because I could have just given it straight to Kyle instead of buying one. 
So I lost about four thousand dollars. Eh. That's a snake oil remedy to get rich. I wouldn't make too much medicine. Pray I'll see. I know. I'll pray for the goddess. To... Really. And back to the bar, where everyone is. Except for... Nash. Thought I told you to take your time. Right? It's my kind of beer breath from the other side of the bar. Alex! Alex, that ain't good news, huh? What? Jessica's blammed off her feet, how'd Kyle manage that? I'm not drunk, only had a sip. Alright, a few sips, uh, five or six mugs. Try some, Alex, you'll like it. Where are we going, Alex? Is there more beer? Woo! Mia's not drunk. <clears throat> Welcome back, Alex. We're all ready to leave, but there's a problem. We can't find Nash. I wonder where he went. Did you meet all of that light? Yep. He didn't actually have, exactly have the freshest of personal sense. Promise to make us an airship, right, Alex? If anything like Shear's airship, we might want might not want him to keep him pro that promise. Ugh. Seems pretty confident it would work, Jessica. And there's Nash. Apologize, Alex. I returned here as fast as I could, so I had to go with Might. Where the hell? Where... When you left here, you were sulkier than the three-year-old. Now you're smiling so wide, the top of your head is about to fall off. You're a weirdo. Uh, anyway, something's going on in the town square. A man and a woman seem to be having an extreme disagreement with another man. Alex, I don't know if we get involved in something kinky like that. Sorry, here's a monster with huge fangs and long claws. Hey, where's that warrior? But don't tell me he was eaten alive by might. Gross. Anyway, let's see what's going on in town. <clears throat> ah, please help me, I can't breathe. No. It's that boy. Your crime deserves a painful death, it's the law of the prairie. I'm sorry, please. Alex, they're hanging that poor guy. I mean, he probably deserved it. But he's dying, Alex. Yeah, we have to help him. Stop this. Help! Come back here. Stop. It's you. We are of the Plains tribe. I am Tempest and this is Fresca. That man was trying to sell fake medicine to the desperate people here. He knowingly lied for profit. It is the rule of the prairie to execute, execute liars. Why do you dare to interfere in our tribal affairs? Are you a thief as well? Well, this isn't the prairie. The laws of Tamur are different. They don't allow you to hang a man until he's been proven guilty of a crime. <clears throat> you fought the vile tribe at Tamur Pass. You know our cause is just. You m I must know why you took it upon yourself to interfere. Are you not a warrior? Never met a warrior who permits a liar to go unpunished. And the only one explanation. You must be a coward. Alex is no coward. Then it's time to prove he is of the warrior class. A true warrior would never decline a challenge from another warrior, so I challenge you now. What? You shall quickly learn if you are what you purport to be. If you defeat me, I shall pledge allegiance to your cause. But if you fa fall before me, public humiliation will be known to all. We'll make certain of that. I think you can talk your way out of this, Alex. I wouldn't want to anyway. You must know your name before we begin. I'm Alex. And Alex, time is at hand to prove your worth to the... the Prove the worth of your way. <clears throat> Expect a hard fight, no less. Two arms, then. I'll give you my best, then. But you'll have to do a little better than that. Yeah! 
That was resisted, though. I think what's happening is they're both holding back, basically. No experience was gained. Skill is impressive, Alex. You do know the way of the warrior. I apologize for doubting you. Gladly be of assistance. Or whenever I can be of assistance, I will gladly lend a hand to your cause. Still can't believe you bested Tempest. Sorry, right, Fesca. The fight was fair and the victory was Alex's. Hardly, Tempest. We've been exhausted. We've been riding for three days. Wait, chaps. He's this strong after three days and nights of travel? It's incredible. Ox, we've come here in search of a singer from our tribe. She was kidnapped by the vile tribe five moons past. I'm traveling without rest in the hopes of finding her kidnappers. Looking for our friend Luna. They kidnapped her too. Hm. <laughs> Fears our purpose is the same then. Alex, take this with you. The dragon necklace. Tempest, are you? I've already decided, Fresca. I understand. Sandit was bestowed upon me by the elder of our tribe. It's a symbol of bravery beyond what is normal. I pray that it brings you luck in your search as well. Tempest, I can't accept such an important Farewell, Alex. We can discuss it when our paths when next our paths crossed. Farewell farewell, warrior Alex. That was intense. It's a little uh, anxious during the battle. What did he give you? Huh? Was it null? This nexus looks kind of like a dragon, doesn't it? Take a look. Don't touch that, Kyle. Your hands are filthy. Null's right. It's some kind of relief carving of a dragon. Perhaps that barbarian, I mean warrior of the prairie, can help us find a lair of the black dragon. Let's catch up with them, Alex. Tempest said he'd help us. Probably end up selling that barrier ring. Actually, no. Give the barrier ring to Nash. And there you go. And now we have to go south. To the forest of illusion. Anyone else get goosebumps the moment we entered? Yes, I felt something else. I want to say it's magical, but I believe it's something else. Gotten all bumpy because you're traveling with a living, living legend, sweet cheeks. Creepy cheese and wacko background only enhance my natural good look. Let's keep moving. Ambush. Get it? By the power of Althena. Good rock, girl. Burn that bush. Check this out. I was hoping they would be a little weaker than that, but I'll take it like that. 
Okay, the one that bit me is almost dead. Smack with a stick. Hey, me again the level. Good. Range. I'm not nope. Kyle. I wonder if that means they all actually gained the experience while we were gone. That would be nice. You know, if experience was just basically a group. Clearing in the middle of the forest. People of Plow clean this area up so travelers can camp here. How would they do that? If anyone knows about sleeping outdoors, it's chaos. So let's take a break. Not quite. There's other stuff I want to see. Hit everything for a little bit, and then just try to murder some mushrooms. Okay, these mushrooms are tougher than I thought, but we'll kill two. We'll two turn it. That's fine. Stuck on the tree. I was trying to go up. I saw stuff. Oh, Kyle, you've been knocked out. I forgot to heal you, that's why. Mm -hmm. So if I can get some group tags yet. Nope. on his face. Alright, we'll pick up the Forest of Illusion in the next episode. Let me heal up before I forget, but thank you everyone for watching. Until next time. Take it easy.